we're all here celebrating 25 years of Asylum. I guess mm -hmm. just first off, how did you first get involved with them? And you know, what was the pitch like? Because you know, they are just releasing movie after movie after movie. It's a machine. Yeah, it's nice to be associated with the machine, right? Ex Machina. Remember that film? That was a great film. Did it you was see a it? Great film. Yeah. I love that film. Um, okay. So uh, I was approached to do a film called Mercenaries, and um, they pitched it like female Expendables, and we had a great cast: uh, Zoe Bell, uh, Vivica Fox. Brigitte Ooh. Nielsen, Nicole Bilderback, uh, Cynthia Rothrock, and myself. And uh, we shot it in three weeks, an action movie. I wasn't sure it was going to be able to be done, but we did it on time, on schedule, on budget. What and uh, <laughs> uh, well, I, I was a sniper uh, in it. So I learned how to use the sniper rifle, which um, they very graciously gave me as a going away present. Oh. So. <laughs> It was a lot of fun, yeah. Oh, I, I did Planet Dune, and I got brought in, and that was fun, and it was interesting because the set that we used was somewhere in the valley, and I had I walked in there, and I looked around, and I went, I've been here before, and it turns out I shot uh, a, Star, uh, a, a Star Trek episode with the guy who plays the Russian in the original. What's, what was his name? Oh, I can't remember. Check off, yes, 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 check off. So, so we had actually gone back to the same set, and, and it was like, you know, 10 years later, so it was kind of amusing. And the, and the girl in it, who is the girl? The blonde? No, they, they don't remember, once we've done our show. Emily Gillian. Emily Gillian, yeah, she, she was great. I really enjoyed her in it when it finally came out. So, yeah, this is show business for you. You're, once you're off the set, I can't remember any lines after I've said them. Like, like, I, what, what did we shoot yesterday? I have no idea. Once it's gone, it's gone. Um, I was first time I worked with Asylum was uh, Thor, and uh, I had a lot of fun with that. Um, I wasn't. I was kind of curious how they shoot this movie in 14 days. Um, and I was actually amazed how, 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 how good the crew was, how good the production was, and, and actually how good the film turned out. Um, and then from that point on, um, been dealing with uh, David and David, um, David Latt and Ramawi, and, uh, and all the people at Asylum. And we've done some really good films together. And then we just finished Time Pirates um, which, uh, with Tubi, um, which we're really excited about. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. But... Uh, they're just a good group to work with, and yeah, uh, we've just had a lot of fun. Say, you, do you find that, like, especially now with all these streaming options, like, direct to video is not really what it used to be? Like, oh, the whole business is the whole business, wild, wild yeah, it's, 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 yeah. It's changed exponentially. Yeah. I mean, uh, the streaming thing, and I think it's predicated part on COVID, too, yeah. that whole lockdown. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just blew up. And so people need content, yeah. and they need good content. And it's, uh, it's one of those things where... It's a new venture, and it is a wild, wild west. You're yeah, absolutely right, yeah. and uh, and I think everyone's having fun with it. So, and for Sean, just returning from a movie called Planet Dune, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, it calls it's a call back to yeah, to the original, yeah, the yeah. original. Was it weird to kind of go kind of full circle? You know, if you if you survive your first ten years in show business, there's there's nothing weird after that. Everything, <laughs> everything you've been you've been exposed to, you've seen, you've heard, it's all just you know one one long kind of uh, adventure that you get used to after a while if you're lucky enough to have longevity. And once you're in the asylum, you know, in the asylum world, is it nice to kind of keep getting pitched in the project? Yeah, I'm pitching one to David later on today. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, um, I have a, an independent film studio myself now called Trio Entertainment. Uh, we just wrapped on a film called Vice and Virtue, um, in which I also star. And uh, we are talking about future uh, co-projects together with Asylum. So, yes, we'll be going down that road. Yeah. During the panel, there's this pitch meeting, basically, where people are getting pitch ideas for a new Asylum movie. Yeah. What kind of things, I guess, would you be looking for in a new film? Dance, dance number? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm open to whatever. Um, I really like good stories, compelling stories, and uh, generally ones that evoke some kind of thoughtfulness uh, when you leave the theater or you walk out of the room in which you're watching it. <laughs> Whereas I like completely shallow and yeah. superfluous. <laughs> I, I really don't require that much intelligence or deep 
fitness or anything. I love superficial. Uh, we've been talking about a lot of stuff, uh, me and David and, and the asylum. Um, and uh, I know we got something coming. Um, well, we have the one thing. We'll post this after the panel, so you can feel free to spoil. We won't post no, no, this is something. Um, okay. um, <laughs> but anyways, we got some stuff that we're because anytime I work with those guys is 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 a blessing and it's fun and and they're just a good group to work with and um, so we got a lot of things in, in the pipe. And last question I have for you is just about coming to a convention like this in general. What kind of what do the fans most want from you when they, when they come to a table? I think they want to show off their costumes that they wear. Yeah. I think they're like, I'm dressed as weirdo person. Yeah, I know. They love it. They get a chance to wear their costumes. I think that's what Comic-Con is in general. Yeah, it's been two years since they've been able to come back, so they've been gearing up for a couple of years. So I think they're all very excited. Any special requests? <laughs> um, my most special request, and this has happened to me twice, has been to sign... Um, it was an arm and a shoulder, and then the person has gone out and got gotten it tattooed. Oh, Lord, and yeah. then they come back and they they show me. There was one um, young woman who who took off her sweatshirt and she had sleeve tattoos of autographs. On the left was the actors that she liked, and on the right was singers. So it that's, was that's a weird. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's weird. <laughs> I've seen Blade, Rachel from Blade Runner tattooed on um, several people, and my youngest son got a Rachel tattoo, and okay. I was. I was like, when I saw it, I was in shock. I don't get it, but, you know, yeah, they do. All right.